Hi, welcome to part 2. So in the first part we were on this step where we had to fill in the dialog for creating the map engine backend and we had to fill in the API key and project number. Now if you notice that um, for these two things they are just uh, constants which we can obtain later. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to configure the SDK in this tutorial. So if you click on the configure SDKs link, you'll find that there's no SDKs configured. So if I click on download and open browser, it launches my browser and goes to the relevant uh, app engine SDK page. So in my case, I'm going to select the Google app engine SDK for Java and I'm going to open the steps which say installing on Mac OS 10. So the two things it wants us to check are the Java version and we have version 1.7 and Java C version also 1.7. So that's the prerequisite that has been satisfied. Now the other part is to download the zip. So if I download this from my downloads folder it should start downloading. Now let's figure out what to do with the API key and project number while that is downloading. So if I click here, it takes me to my developer console, but it takes me to the wrong part. So what I need to go is cloud.google.com and go to my console. Now when I hit my console there's a button called create project so in this case I'm going to say create project and I'm going to call it mobile assistant and say create so it starts creating a project and my downloads uh, are uh, done it seems so what I'm going to do is go to my terminal and I'll just copy my uh, SDK so I'm going to create a folder for my app engine SDK here and I'm going to move the download from the folder which has the download which is uh, app engine SDK so now I can unzip it to this folder so once that's unzipped and I go back to my clips I can say configure SDKs and put the path to this app engine SDK folder which is this so I can just copy paste and give the name of the SDK folder so copy that and paste And uh, we can call it app engine SDK or SDK Java. So, yeah, so that should be fine. Um, uh, okay, and now that's good to go. So you hit OK and we need to find the API key and project number. So here's our project dashboard which opened after the project was created. And if you look under APIs and art and click on APIs. So the first thing we need to enable is our APIs. So uh, the APIs that we need to enable are 
the ones for app entry. So let's see where we can find the steps to do that. So we have our download screen and we need to enable our APIs. So if I hit that couple of times here. Um, there should be a link to what APIs need to be enabled. So the first step here is to find that. So we need our cloud messaging for Android API. So we need to enable that. And uh, Uh, so let's do that. So we go back to our cloud console. Click on go to my console. Go to our project. So you notice that the project number is over here. So I can easily copy the project number into Eclipse. And the next thing I need is the API key. So notice that what it's asking for is uh, to get the API enabled. So I go to Google Cloud. Let's do for Android, turn it on. And then click on credentials. And here I have to go to this API key for server applications. So, so to do that, we need to create a new API key. For uh, server applications, and here we will call it zero dot zero dot zero dot zero, which is all IPs. And now we have a key for server applications, so we can copy this and paste it inside clips and this should be modifiable at a later date so let's hit create and once you hit create it should enable us to look at our app engine application now there's an error in one of the files so let's see what that error is So it says java.io cannot be resolved and java.util cannot be resolved. So both of these require um, the Java libraries uh, and we can fix those two errors pretty easily. But I'll cover that in the next tutorial. So See you on the next part.